Hi Pisces, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you because the messages will be general. Um, so you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. All right, so let's see. And if you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. All right, Pisces, what is the main energy for Pisces in March? All right, we have action and we have divine feminine. All right, so this could be a divine love connection, all right, for some of you. Um, either way, I feel like if you're feminine watching this, you are standing in your power, all right? And someone's taking action here. It could be you taking action, or it could be someone else taking action towards you. All right, let's get into it and find out. Okay. Pisces. If you're cross-watching and you are, and you identify with the feminine energy, then it could be that someone is taking action towards you, or that they are taking action towards you, yeah. Let's see. Pisces. your situation we have the fool there it is action right off the bat crossed by the eight of cups all right that's interesting so there's action someone is thinking about taking a leap of faith possibly taking a risk here and this risk might involve having to leave something else behind all right whether that is um, a location, whether it is a job, whether it is another relationship, all right, you you would know. And I feel like that is what the challenge is here, but this person is uh, seriously considering taking this action. All right, and it could be you. It could be you. It could be them. Um, recent past, we have the Hierophant, and near future, we have the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so there is something... It could have been that you were in a very um, intense spiritual connection, all right? That would also um, confirm the Divine Feminine card that we got here. But it could also be that there was a lot of learning that has taken place through this experience, through this connection. All right, either for you, for them, or I would even say for the both of you. Um, there's some effort that is coming up in the near future. Somebody is going to put in a lot of um, work. Um, towards something, and I do feel that it has to do with this fool, this action that they're thinking about taking. See, for you, we have the Five of Wands. For them, we have the Knight of Swords. There's the action again, so I am going to say that it is the person you're dealing with that is taking some action here, okay? But do keep in mind the roles can be reversed. All right, more for you, we have the Ten of Cups. For them, we have the Five of Pentacles. And for the potential outcome, we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so you're you're in a place where you might be feeling a little bit troubled at the moment. Like I I don't I I mean I don't feel like you're feeling your best. All right, you might feel like yeah, you know, um, I'm finding myself. All right, if if you if you are the feminine here, but. But I feel like there's something that is, is bothering you when it comes to this connection, right, with this Ten of Cups here, because you feel a lot of love for somebody, but you are conflicted about it. And we'll see why when we clarify. For then, the Knight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. So yeah, this, again, it talks about taking some kind of an action, but this action does require a loss. It's kind of like there's going to have to be... Um, something I win, something I lose. All right, that's how it's coming through. And again, I do feel like they're taking some steps towards it, although it might not be in the most stable um, type of a way. I feel like it might be a little bit impulsive at times, maybe in and out, um, maybe possibly, you know, just still not really um, 
stabilized when it comes to making this decision for this action. Okay, but it's there. The energy is definitely there. And it's interesting because I have the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the clarifying deck as well. However, again, in the potential outcome here, though, with the Six of Pentacles, something is being balanced out. I feel like whatever this, you know, something I got to lose in order to win, some, to gain something else, I feel like there's going to be a balance found, okay, when it comes to that. So let's start clarifying and see what this is about. Okay, so let me clarify the Fool with the Eight of Cups. Alright, we have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Swords, and we have the Seven of Swords. Ooh, okay. Alright, so, because I do, I do mostly feel like this is your person, but again, you know, feel free to reverse the roles regardless of whether you are cross-watching or watching for yourself, alright? It doesn't matter. So what I'm seeing here is that this person, you know, when it comes to, th there's some kind of a, there's a, some kind of a relationship here, alright? Some kind of a partnership that they feel needs to end, in order for them to be able to take this risk, to take this leap of faith, all right? There's something that is, they're having a hard time leaving behind, all right? Um, and I do feel that it has to do with some kind of a collaboration or a partnership. I mean, it could be it could be anything, just about anything. And it does feel pretty painful for them to leave that behind in order to take this new direction. And for that reason, I feel like, you know, they may have been avoiding it, all right, with the Seven of Swords, kind of just trying to push it out of their mind. But again, it's here, it's here, it's... Whether they want to or not, they can avoid it all they want. It's This energy is here. Let me see the Hierophant in the recent past. Alright, the Devil and the Five of Wands. Okay, so in, there's a connection here. That was in the past that I feel is, it was a pretty strong connection in the sense that it was serious, okay? It was long term, it was, it could even be, it could be anything, it could be a marriage, it could be family, okay? It's like that kind of a um, bond where it's kind of like, it's not one that is easily breakable and it's not just something casual, okay, with the Hierophant being here. However, it was toxic. I mean, the Five of Wands and the Devil is attached to this. So if this was your relationship with this person, then yeah, there there was a lot of struggle here. There was a lot of challenges. There was possibly a lot of arguments. There may have been cycles that were repeating themselves over and over again, just patterns, and just feeling like it was a vicious cycle that would, that would never end, all right? Or somebody was um, very deceptive here, or possibly there was um, a lot of codependency, even though it feels like this this connection was not smooth at all. Like there were arguments. There was a lot of disagreements here with this person or with this connection or with whatever it is. Even if it's a work um, situation, it was toxic and it caused a lot of a lot of conflict. So I'm just gonna say that for a lot of you, this could be the situation that needs to be left. Um, completely behind in order for this new new action to be taken. All right, and for others of you, maybe it's something separate. So let's see. Let's see the Five of Wands for your energy. And then also, um, for some of you, this, this relationship here in the past, whatever that is, it could be that you are related to this, all right? Even if it's your person, you need to leave something behind because you have the Five of Wands as your as one of your main energies here and we have the Five of Wands showing up here. So I do feel that in some way this was affecting you even if you were not directly involved. All right, so clarifying the Five of Wands, we have the Eight of Wands and the Chariot. Oh, okay, wow, what is going on here? This is, this is a lot of energy, a lot of drive. I feel like, what is it that, let me get one more, because there's something here that's um, conflicting you a lot. Let's get one more. Two of Swords, all right. 
Yeah, you don't, I feel like you don't really know what's going on here. You don't know what direction to take. You're very um, conflicted about, possibly about this action and whether you, if it's you, whether you're going to take it or if it's them, you know, whether they're going to take it. It's like you really, you really don't know what's going on here. You really don't know what's going on here and you don't know what you should be doing. It almost feels like you're trying to take, you're trying to take some kind of control. It, it, it's like this. It's like on the one hand, you feel like you should be doing something. And then on the other hand, you feel like, well, there's nothing I can do. I don't have any control in, you know, what the other person does or, you know, in what's going on in the situation. And so then you try to ignore the fact that, that you wanted to take control. And then it's like going back and forth between these two, these two energies. And so you just feel very conflicted because on the one hand, possibly you might want to communicate with somebody. You might want to take some action, but then you're not sure if that's going to be actually um, for your highest good. Let's see the Ten of Cups. The Hierophant and the Empress. There is someone here. There's someone here that you that you feel very, very strongly about. Um, It's like, I mean, the Hierophant showing up again, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even sure if it's the same situation here as the one that I was talking about before. For some of you, it will be. For some of you, it won't be because this could be something separate. But there's definitely somebody here that you're feeling a lot of love for, and I feel like you're seeing them as the Empress, actually. And... Again, you are conflicted as to what to do. Should you let this go? Should you wait for them? Or, you know, it just feels like like a, a jumbled mess of emotions and, and thoughts. And it's because you just feel so strongly about, about this person. So let's see what's going on with them. Let me see this Knight of Swords. Wow, that's a lot of swords. I'm wondering if you're dealing with an air sign. All right, so clarifying the Knight of Swords, we have the Knight of Swords again, the Ace of Swords, and the Page of Swords. All right, so this does talk about action. I mean, I see this person taking some action um, based on their truth, possibly also being very curious as to what is going on with you. It's interesting though because I feel like it almost feels like you, you you're both kind of doing the same thing because I feel like so now I'm beginning to think this um, this action that we've been talking about from the beginning might not actually be only about your person it's also about you it could be you that's trying to you the whoever is Pisces trying to make this decision to leave something behind in order to take a leap of faith here. And whatever it is to be left behind, it, it's not necessarily another situation. It could even be a way of thinking. It could be a fear. It could be anything, all right? But it is painful, whatever it is. And it does involve um, other people, okay? In some way or another. Yeah, because I see... This person is honest. I feel like this person is genuine, but again, they it feels like they're a little bit in and out when it comes to this action as well. All right, and just very curious as to what is going on with you, kind of like they're not sure either. Let me see the Five of Pentacles. All right, the Queen of Pentacles. Page of Cups and Justice. Okay. This person feels like they are they are at a loss. I mean, they possibly feel lonely. Um, it, 
it's like they they f I I almost get that they're they're feeling their emotions at the moment more accurately and more authentically than they have in the past. There's something that is coming up here for them where they feel like where like they're really facing um, a loss of something, all right? And again, it could even be what they're trying to walk away from if that's them. Like it, whatever it is, it's not easy. Like it's costing them. It's costing them to feel to feel that loss. For some of them, it might even be, it might even have to do with finances, all right? If it's work related. Um, but I feel like they're just being more honest with themselves at the moment when it comes to what it is that they want to do and how it is that they feel. And then ultimately making a decision based based on that, based on that truth, even if it does feel like there is a loss, all right? I feel like, you know, they're, they're choosing to, to go ahead with taking that risk because what they're going to gain is going to be more than what they're going to lose, even if it is a little difficult here. Um, but with the justice being here, I see them ultimately trying to make the right decision and thinking, you know, along the lines of, the long run, you know, what, what it is that, that will bring them this stability and make them feel good in the long run. Let's see the Eight of Pentacles. Because see, yeah, there is this effort that is being um, placed here. Let's see, the Three of Cups. And the Nine of Cups. Yeah, so somebody is working here towards having a, um, a coming together. Working towards what it is that their heart wants, rather than, you know, whatever it is, focusing on what they're going to lose. Okay, so that effort is being put in for a, for a coming together, whether it be a reconciliation or just, you know, um, being able to just be, come together. This is something that, that this person really, really wants. So whether that is you or whether that is them, I do see that happening and that effort being put in in the near future. Let's see the Six of Pentacles for the potential outcome. Okay. We have the Tower and the Sun. What a combination here. So there it is. That's that balance between finding that balance, finding that payoff between having to lose something, having something destroyed, and having pure happiness, having gained something. So in order to have that sun, there's going to have to be a tower, all right, for something else. So if this is you having to make a decision where you feel like you need to Give up something in order to have something else. I mean, I do see that happening, and I do see you being able to find that balance, all right? And, you know, just know that, that that's just how, you know, life is sometimes and how it works, and you learn so much from that. And a lot of times, yeah, the road to happiness is not the easiest one. All right, and if it's your person, again, I see, I see them coming into that balance, finding that balance and being able to, you know, just weigh things out weigh things out. I mean, I love that we have both the Six of Pentacles and we also had Justice here, all right, for them. So, yeah, coming up, I mean, the future looks pretty, pretty good. And, and we do have action as that very first card out. So I do see that being in the works for you. All right, so, Aces. Let's get your final Oracle message if this resonated. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. And we have practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. All right, yeah, so it might be hard to understand the other person's um, position at this point in time, all right? So this is what this message is about. Being able to see things from a fresh perspective or from someone else's point of view. All right, Pisces, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.